The Enhanced Recovery Pathway is a standardized practice of, of taking care of patients postoperatively. Before this uh, practice, we have seven gynecologic oncologists. We all took care of patients in various ways. So here we define the ways patients should be taken care of postoperatively. That includes activity, includes diet, and includes pain control as well. The patient group that we're most interested in is patients with ovarian cancer, and these uh, patients need a pretty extensive surgery. It can last anywhere from four to six to eight hours and their average hospital stays about 10 days in the hospital. So with the enhanced recovery pathway, when we standardize the interventions, uh, we're able to reduce that from 10 days to six days. So there's a four day reduction in the length of stay. And we also reduce the amount of pain medication that was required in the first 48 hours by 80%. That seems counterintuitive. It seems like we shouldn't be giving less pain medication. Uh, but if you give more pain medication than you need, that can cause you to be nauseated and constipated and sleepy. Uh, so we found that that actually improved outcomes. One of the things we did in the past that, that most surgeons do actually is that we used uh, bowel preps for patients that needed colon resections because we thought that the bowel needed to be cleaned to prevent infections. So we used uh, was what are called nasogastric tubes or tubes in the, the nose that go into the stomach because we thought we needed to, de to decompress the stomach. And there's lots of IV, IV narcotics to improve pain control, and we found that we didn't need bowel preps. We didn't need drains or uh, nasogastric tubes, and patients actually did very well with oral narc narcotics. They didn't need large doses of intravenous narcotics. So given that we're able to reduce the hospital stay by about four days, um, this can improve the patient's recovery. It allows them to go home sooner. It also allows them to potentially get treated sooner as well since most of these patients will need chemotherapy.